tell us about she dies tomorrow um she dies tomorrow is uh written produced and directed by uh amy simetz not too familiar with her i'm familiar with her as an actress i'm not really familiar with her yeah, as she's, a she's uh, been in some director. AMT stuff and some hbo things um pet cemetery it seems like that's kind of like the world she lives in is is more of the you know alien covenant i did not did not know that um, she, yeah she was one of the the doctors mm-hmm. or whatever yeah, yeah. There's, there's not a lot of uh names that call out to me michelle rodriguez is in it for a small part um i didn't even say that in the list not a not a big um big role in it it's it's more of like an anecdotal note um this is an unusual movie so the the whole premise of the movie is uh the kind of main character, uh, Amy, who's played by uh, Caitlin Scheel. Um, she's uh, somewhat of a former alcoholic. Um, and in the beginning of the movie, she's, you know, calling a friend of hers uh, to, to see if she'll visit her. Uh, it's, and it's person Jane. Um, and while she's talking with her, she's like, very kind of weird and and basically she's telling her that you know will you come visit me because i'm gonna die tomorrow and you know her friend is kind of like you know have you been drinking again have you kind of like fallen off you know whatever and she's like no i'm just you know i'm gonna die tomorrow and she just she just knows that she is going to die tomorrow and that's kind of the whole you know thing in the movie is is how it affects if you know you're going to die. Um, and this obviously concerns her friend a bit, but her friend is supposed to go to her brother's uh, wife's birthday party. So she's like, well, I can't really come, come by. I'm supposed to go to this party. And, you know, she eventually hangs up and, and kind of says like, I'll, I'll check on you tomorrow. And, you know, like the beginning of this movie is is super weird. It takes about 15 minutes into the movie for like anything to actually happen. Uh, they definitely try to be like artsy. Um, there's a lot of like music that flashes to, you know, quick scene changes. And, you know, there's some sort of uh, flashbacking back and forth a bit throughout the, the movie. Um, and they're definitely trying to be more more artsy with it, and that can kind of confuse things a bit. But um, you know, once it kind of gets going, it it does get a little more interesting as the the premise uh, more unfolds with this this knowledge that you are to die the next day. Um, and you know, her friend ends up you know not going to the party. And ends up working on, she's like an artist of sorts, and she ends up working on something. And for some reason, something kind of weird happens, and she decides to check on her friend, and she doesn't find her. You know, this Amy who knows she's going to die has kind of disappeared. She doesn't know where she's at. And so she ends up, you know, going to the party, but she's kind of like in her gym jams and in a very frazzled state. And you know, she begins to, you know, interact with the people there. And it's just a very uneasy movie. What the hell are Jim Jams? Pajamas? Like, uh, pajamas. Oh. It's it's a slang term. But um, be a Rhode you know, Island thing. Uh, it's I don't know. It's it's definitely not something I normally use, but it's uh it's definitely a streamer thing. But uh Okay. Anyways, <laughs> she's she's in her pajamas, you know, and she's like a frazzled mess, you know, and she's clearly not in her right mind you know she's concerned for her her friend and you know the the scene is very weird you know the the people at the party it's it's you know her her brother and the the wife and two guests and it it seems like nobody really wants to be at this party (laughs) and it just it from there it just gets odder and odder as this kind of like feeling of you're going to die tomorrow begins to sort of like you know, concern uh, the friend now. Now she's kind of like feeling like I'm going to die tomorrow. And and it begins to affect people where they begin to think about it. And, and it, it just kind of spreads from there. Uh, and it's just, it's a really weird movie. Um, but at the same time, 
there's this curiosity of of what what is making people think that they're going to die and so far as that they kind of take action on that thought like they're not worried like oh you know it you know i i I don't feel right something doesn't seem it's like they they know i am going to die tomorrow and so they begin to to do things in a way that you know they're either preparing for it or or whatever so it's a very strange movie um and it, it just gets stranger and stranger um they definitely tried to be artsy um there's like one song that like clearly the budget could only afford them so much music because they use it a lot um and they they kind of fold it in with certain events and it i don't know i don't know where to place this one on the the scale but it's it's definitely not one i would say i would recommend to people Mm. um this was a paid rental uh it was you know like six bucks on amazon um don't think you could get it cheaper anywhere else. I don't think it's on a, a free streaming service, but um, it's not a particularly great movie. I feel like the very beginning took a lot for me to care about it. Like I said, it was like 15 minutes into the movie before like anything happened that made me care about it. And it did eventually get enough of a hook where I was like, just curious to see where it went. But ultimately it, it just kind of felt kind of meh. And, and that just, I don't know, they didn't, they didn't do a lot with it. I was kind of expecting more of a horror-y vibe. And it's really just more like a, I, don't know, I can't even say thriller. It's just like this, this odd, you know, curiosity type event where like you're trying to find out what happens or what's going on. And it just keeps making you curious. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's not... Um, it's not a movie I would recommend. It's kind of a meh. Um, certainly, I wouldn't pay for it again. You know, it's not something I would want to say show someone and be like, "Hey, check this out." It's it's different and quirky. It's if just, you're it, if you're into like an artsy art house style movie, would you think that you'd be more like willing to? Probably not because it's not it? like it's like I like they try to be artsy in some parts, but it's like that's not their main focus. Mm-hmm. Like they're because it's gotten good review, like yeah, I know. Overall, it's gotten good reviews. It, it so it seemed like it was was decent, but and I think it's because like eventually, like if you suffer through enough of it, <laughs> like you get to a point where it like piques your interest and you're you want to know more about it, about what's going on. But I don't think in the end you're you're left very satisfied with what you get. Um, I think it it falls falls short in the end. Um, I'll tell you what even though it's a negative review on you, it actually kind of makes me more interested to see it. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. If, if you're looking for something that's usual, this doesn't like, seem like it's up your alley, Brian at all. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to judge because it's not, it's not at all what I necessarily expected. And I think it it's very slow to kind of get moving. And when it does get moving, it's, it's like just interesting enough where you're like, all right, let's see where this goes. But at the same time, I'm like, will you get there? <laughs> you know, like, I don't, I don't know if it ever really, you know, gets where I want it to be. It's just sort of, you get a question and that question is still lingering. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's different. I'll say that much. But um, it's not something like Jared would hate this movie. I'll throw that out there. This is a hard no for you, my friend. This is not Suicide Squad. What's there is um, no how many act- how many explosions? Uh, zero explosions. Okay. Bummer. Zero. Freaking eighty three on Rotten Tomato. That right there. But nobody else gonna... has seen it. There's no user reviews on it. <laughs> I'm gonna hate it based <laughs> off of that. So. I don't know. Your results may vary, but uh, I'm going to say unless you're looking for something different, <laughs> uh, there's there's other movies you would probably rather watch. Huh. OK, well, there you go. Well, I'm sure Brian's going to watch it and he'll tell us what his thoughts are at some point. And I mean, maybe- I'm, I might not review it again on this, but I, at some point I would. I kind of want to know and seeing it. I want to know what your thoughts are on it, Brian, when you oh, watch yeah? it. Yeah, I do. I do. Two should because- watch it together. Oh my gosh, can we, Brian? 
Can we just can watch we? it together? <laughs> can we co-stream it on? Uh, we it's should. It's not on Amazon co-stream. Prime, so we can't. But you know, if if, if I'd have known, I could have. I'd still have a window where we could watch it again. On. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Um. Anyway, so there you have it. She dies tomorrow. To Jason, probably not one you want to see. Brian, on the other hand, from that description, thought it was amazing. So no, I, it just sounds interesting. <laughs> it's a curiosity. That's yeah. it. It's 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 an interesting movie. You know, it is entertaining from one aspect, but it's not. I don't think this is a movie for a lot of people. Right. I'll put it that way. You know, like it's not it's not something you'll see on the blockbuster. You know, top ten movies in the cinema. It's it's that movie that it gets one weekend. And then it's like gone. And it's not even a weekend at the main theater. It's a weekend at the theater that always shows the artsy Free stuff. Cinema, you know, yeah. the little 90 year old cinema that shows the, the more artsy independent. Stuff. Yeah. Well, there you have it, kids. There you have it. 